All right, guys. So up next is Out of This World for the 3DO. It was suggested by my good friend G Satire or Spike Bat from YouTube. It came out in 1991, but this version came out in 1994. It is a cinematic platformer action adventure type of game, and there are no difficulty settings. There are no stages, only one long playthrough, and my challenge is going to be a deathless speedrun, so let's see how that goes. Alright guys, out of this world time, let's get this show on the road, you can speed swim here. Alright, let's go. So you got some blobs on the floor here, you can skip. Just make sure to jump just before you reach them. Else they will fuck you up. Just trying to save up on a little bit of time, you know. And if you run jump, you'll always run a little faster. Requested by G Satire, also known as Spike Bat. At first, I thought it was a, a joke, you know, like what? Out of this world? Are you serious, bro? You know, once you know the layout of the game, it's super easy, but uh, guess what? While playing as a speedrun and without dying, it's, uh, it's a whole different ball game. Um, the game gets really fucking hard. Only because of little tiny situations where uh, it's almost pixel perfect, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know why they had to do a pixel perfect scene at a few points in the game. Especially the caverns. Oh my god, those fucking rocks. My <laughs> food? All right, the, ba the game begins now. Wait for him a bit. All right. You can generate infinite shields if you want. And fire off infinite shots. Your gun will never deplete. It only depletes whenever you do a, a power shot. Fuck sakes. Alright, so shit zone part one, the sewers, or the pipeline, or whatever it is. It's only bad because the rolling mechanics is not as easy as you think. So the first part is the hardest part. This part is actually easy because you have a lot of time. Alright, so shit zone one complete. <laughs> Jumping makes you go faster. Hold the jump while it loads, and there you go. Fucking issue zero. Now, possibly the hardest part in the game right here, the caverns. Just keep jumping here for a special trick, no rocks will ever fall on you. Those that are low, 
jump, let's go! And this is the part where I mean pixel perfect almost. Scratch my nose. All right. But it's not over yet. No, no, no. You gotta go fucking back. Oh, God. Okay, so you gotta be really fucking close to that first hole. that Don't forget the bat. All right. Wow, what the? When it loads, jump! Perfect! So I'd say we're uh, about halfway through the game now. The shittiest part in the game is complete. And there's a glitch here. Even though you choose the lower path, the upper path will load in this next scene. Which can confuse some people, but uh, I'm still gonna backtrack after I kill this guy here. There you go. Because he can be a piece of shit later on. So I just head back, you know, jump a bit. There's going to be another guy here. And to release your friend, you need to bust up this chandelier. Shit just got serious now. So I'm just gonna go release my friend. There he go, he's he, he slid like a slippery serpent. And here's another part that's weird. You'll notice on the uh, on that globe you have a weird thing moving at the bottom of it. That's the reflection of the guy that's walking below. There you go. When he's under it, you bust the thing over his head because if not, you will not be able to proceed. Part, but you know, just do what I did and everything's gonna be fine. Alright, now time to swim and like I said, you cannot fast swim here, which is weird. funny because the first time around you need to actually go up here to uh, you know have a little breather 
a pocket of, the, of air. If not, you cannot reach the destination. Final destination. No, it's not really the final one, but you know what I mean. So this used to be a fucking risky part. The trick is to bust this, go back one, and then run jump! Right away, fuck. Or else good luck! Okay, so here's where it gets weird. The first time around you needed some air, but the second time around you actually don't. I'm forgetting next scene here. Oh yeah, the guy. So up next is a kind of a shitty part because sometimes I fail this part. Very, very hard part. So they actually killed themselves. And I don't know who was firing at me, but whatever. You gotta time that shield very well. Up next is another fucking very shitty part. Alright, complete! So far, so good. Alright, so he had to, uh, you know, he had to Put him on gunpoint so that he activates the button there. And here's another fucking glitchy part that can restart your fucking run. This! Alright. So, that's the only trick that you can do. When he, whenever he glitches out like that and keeps firing forever, just keep your thumb down and press on the opposite side and it, you should be safe. Took me a while to figure out that fucking counter glitch. The glitch to counter the glitch. So here you gotta walk, take your time, have the stage load up. Because of that fucking hole. Oh, and it's raining hard here. Don't jump here because you you will die, that's for sure. Fighting a tank. Because apparently you know exactly what to do here. But he is a scientist, remember? Activate! Push button! Button, button, button!
push on everything. Get the fuck out. Up next is another fucking part where you can die super easily for nothing. Like right here you can leave your ship and instantly die. It happened to me a few times. Run through. And then you fuck up and you're game over. Fuck! No, I'm just kidding. Got dark on top of the neck, eh? Mr. Crowley, where is your son? So you have two things left to do before the end of the game. And now he falls. <laughs> And as soon as you hit the second switch, you have to back off right away, or else you will die. Notice the lasers, how they were placed. The end of the game, guys. That was a lot harder than you think. With broken instances and uh, pixel perfect jumps and you know, speed run without dying of this game was fucking hard, man. A lot harder than you think. Out of this world complete and in this corner. Retro Challenger! <laughs> 16 minute run. There you go guys, the cam must enjoy this, that's for sure. Sorry about the darkness. <clears throat> but uh, there you go guys. You will have a special ending at the end. It's basically him uh, you're gonna see what he saw in uh, his village before he got caught. Hope you enjoy guys and uh, don't forget um, on my banner on my uh, YouTube page you have a few links. One is Twitter and you know the other one is uh, my Facebook page. Um, Please leave a comment. I know a lot of people played this game in the past. It is a early PC game, so uh, let me know what you think uh, of this run or, you know, what you've done 20 years ago, 20 some years ago when you played this game, you know, uh, were you jerking off or you, uh, I don't know, you know, so share your experiences. Jeez, our time, our tabernacle! It's the Zerso, man! Fuck the Zerso, bro! It's like, um. The Okinde. My training, it's like, um, just more if I whatever, but for the suit, the face is a more if, it's like, malade, like, um, the same, and poor bro, come, don't wait on 3D, don't wait to take game. Alright, so here you go, guys. Graphics though. 
Notice how this run is the only live run for this game on the 3DO, so I just made history. <laughs> so this is the past on what happened. Sound effects are crazy! There you go guys, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time! <laughs>